today we will discuss why heart failure causes edema and its treatment option hearing the word heart failure might sound frightening you may think the heart is not working at all but it's not like that actually in heart failure the heart doesn't pump to its normal capacity the causes of heart failure can be many like heart attack hypertension even diseases like diabetes and kidney diseases may cause heart failure and edema there are different types of heart failures in each one of them the heart is not able to pump properly the most common cause of heart failure is left sided heart failure our left side of heart is responsible for pumping the blood to your entire body and providing the entire body with oxygenated blood when the left heart of your uh, body is not pumping properly the body is deprived of oxygenated blood so your body is deprived of oxygen and it may also cause edema sometimes while in the right sided heart failure the blood coming from the veins are unable to reach properly to the right side of the heart and right side of heart is not able to pump it properly it leads to peripheral edema like pedal edema and pulmonary edema and abdominal distension as well sometimes congestive cardiac failure can happen which may require immediate medical attention it may lead to pulmonary edema which requires it can lead to pulmonary edema and edema of the feet and the abdomen as well now let's look at the warning signs of heart failure the warning signs of heart failure can be shortness of breath easy fatigability or edema of your legs feet or ankles apart from that sometimes confusion may happen as well as swollen feet or edema is one of the earliest or a major sign of heart failure let's first understand what edema actually is edema is a medical term for swelling which is caused by fluid retention it can either be caused by any injury or any other health condition heart failure is a very risky condition which causes edema there are different types of edemas which can cause heart failure number 1 is your pedal edema which is the swelling over legs number 2 is your peripheral edema that is your swelling in hands abdomen or any other part of the body another form of edema is pitting edema in which there is an indent or pitting of your part of the body like legs after pressing it for a while pulmonary edema is another kind of edema in which the fluid builds up in your lungs and patient feels excessively short of breath a person may have following symptoms for edema unusually or sudden onset of swelling or puffiness of the legs apart from that signs like unusual weight gain difficulty or increased shoe size may happen apart from that difficulty in walking may happen so now let's understand how does heart failure cause edema heart failure causes fluid retention that is edema so when heart failure happens the heart is unable to pump the blood and also bring it back due to this the blood may pool in the periphery especially in your legs or your ankles it may also happen with increased blood pressure we which may let the blood to back up or pool in the peripheral limbs it may also occur with heart problems due to leaky valves swelling may also happen in heart failure when the heart is unable to pump enough blood to your kidneys which may lead to your failure of the kidneys which may lead to decrease in urination and build up of fluids in your peripheral limbs this swelling related to your renal failure or kidney failure may increase or decrease depending upon the dialysis and the drugs which are given to the patients but sometimes swelling which happens only once and goes away may have different causes like a temporary injury proper treatment of heart failure and whatever the cause of edema may be may lead to proper treatment of heart failure and edema so now let's have a look at the treatment options available for heart failure and edema heart failure is a life threatening condition and it is usually not possible to treat this condition with home based radi- remedies and lifestyle modifications alone usually it requires consultation with a cardiologist and heart medications for rest of their lives some lifestyle modifications can make a significant difference in the lives of patients with heart failure 
So let's see what lifestyle changes these patients can adopt. Number one is decrease in salt intake that is sodium intake. Usually patients with heart failure should take a low salt diet and recommended diet is about 1.5 to 2 grams per day. These patients should avoid intake of packed food like potato chips or processed foods or ready-made meals because these have very high contents of sodium. Regular guided exercise with accordance with your doctor and a physiotherapist can help these patients to have a better life. Apart from that, stress relief by therapies like meditations can also help these people. Now talking of medical treatment, there is actually no cure as such for heart failure, but proper treatment can lead these patients to live a prolonged and a symptom free life. The following treatment now can be recommended by your doctor for patients with heart failure. Number one is your medications, which comprises of many group of drugs like beta blockers. Number two, implantation of certain devices like AICDs or CRTDs can increase the heart pumping in these patients. Apart from these, certain surgical procedures like wall repair can increase or the pumping of these patients. Apart from this, for very sick patients, heart transplant remains the last option for their treatment. One very easy and basic treatment option for these patients is a proper intake of fluid or water in their daily activities. Apart from this, a proper water intake as guided by the doctor can help these patients to get relief from their symptoms. At last, it may be very alarming for the patients to notice sudden onset of swelling or edema of their feet or the body. In heart failure, fluid builds up as the heart is not able to pump as strongly as it can due to weakening of the muscle or due to stiffening of the muscle. But apart from heart failure, there are other reasons for developing edema or swelling of the feet as well. Independent of the cause, this edema can be managed. The doctor will diagnose the cause of this edema and give you treatment. Anyone who is concerned about heart failure or edema of the feet or any part of the body should contact a doctor immediately. The doctor will evaluate the cause of heart failure and treat you accordingly. Thank you.